Hello everyone and welcome to another video of Sana. This is Vakas Sadiq. I am an application specialist and marketing manager here in Sana. Today I am going to show you how you can fit your impedance spectra. First of all go ahead and open the impedance spectra which you want to fit. Here I have already opened an impedance spectra for me. What you see in front of you is a body representation where you have impedance and phase versus frequency. Since most of the researchers are familiar with the Nyquist preset, so let's go to the minus Nyquist and here you have your Nyquist graph. Now we want to fit this graph. So for this, let's get started. Click on the fit EIS. The fit EIS open a new window and now here we have to design our electrical circuit. Before you design your electrical circuit, you have to have insight into your system. You should know that what is your system composed of and once you have the knowledge about your system then you can draw a true representation of your system in my case here i have a pretty good idea that what electrical circuit can represent this system so with this let's get started i know that i have two electrodes so i will make a r a resist and a constant phase element circuit for the first electrode and then a connecting resistance and then I will have another R and constant phase element, so resist and constant phase element for my second electrode. And let's connect everything together. Now, if you have a bit complex electrical circuit like I have here, then this looks very messy. So what you do is that you right click with your mouse and then you click auto align. And this auto align your electrical circuit in a very nice representation. Okay, so now I have my electrical circuit. I have to provide here the frequency ranges. Right now, 1 millihertz to 1 megahertz is given, which is good enough for me. So I will work with this. But if you have to change your values, just go ahead and change them now. And then you click simulate. And as you will click simulate, it will produce a simulation file here. So let's click simulate. It produced a new model here. You have to drag this model into this graph area because otherwise you will not see it here right now you can't see it here but if i change the color you see that your graph is somewhere here so before there was light blue color and it was not really visible so just to show you that it has been drawn but since the resistances are very small that's why your semicircles in your nicholas plots are very small now what you have to do is that you go ahead in your toolbox and click fit here we have three options original smooth hit and z hit you use z hit if there are some artifacts but right now we are just going to fit with the original setting so i click fit and you see that it started fitting the spectra now the software sometimes requires a bit of the time to fit and as you can see that it's changing the values here okay now the spectra is completely fitted we have our values and you see that the fitting is quite good we can go to the results here and we see that the overall error in our fitting is 0.09% so it's a pretty good fit now let's see what else is provided in the results window here we have each element which we have used in our fitting we have their values we have their significance significance tells us that how important this element is for this fitting so you can see that the first resistance which is this one 14.9 kilo ohm has a significance of 5 0.547 out of 1 it has an error of 0.26 percent this resistance of 476 nano ohm is a very small resistance so if we remove this resistance it will not change our fitting that much and you can see here that the significance is very very less so even if you remove this resistance it does not really matter another very important thing is that you don't only have access to the significance numbers but you also have access to significance plot what is a significance plot well let me show it to you you go to your model right click and click on the significance plot and it has shown here your significance plot of course the y-axis is too huge so we have to just change it so i will change it to from minus one to let's say seven and here is your significance plot uh, let me bring this here now what you see here is that for example your first resistance which is 14.9 kilo ohm 
in which frequency range it gets important the significance plot which shows you that which element is significant at different frequencies so this is also a very nice feature of design analysis software now you want to export your data so you just go to the model which you want to export and then you click file and text export so with this you will have your text file or you can just save this fitting in your Zana analysis software with this we came to the end of our video i thank you for your attention and see you in the next video